Hi, hello, hello. Happy, happy Wednesday. Uh, the sun is out. It's not overly warm out there, but it is nice out there. It's lovely. Um, I've got a long drive. Well, you know, long drive. It's about three and a half hours. So um, I've got a bit of a drive later. I'm going straight up to um, Peterborough tonight because of early morning. I still want to say a chanda to Crate and Craft <laughs> uh, in the morning. So um, I've got to be in the studio for like six o'clock. So um, there's no way I was getting up at like half past two, leaving here at half past two in the morning. So um, got a delightful little travel lodge for tonight. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm driving up this afternoon, which will be quite nice in this weather. It'll be lovely. I can put the tunes on, put my new book on maybe, get just drive, drive, drive. So um, we're doing that later. Um, so now I've had so much to sort out this morning with me being away tomorrow and then get ready to retreat i forgot to do the challenge post thing so um she will do it later on she'll do a live later on um and just do the challenge post i'm sorry i've just got a lead that's come loose so let me just uh do that get it out of the way otherwise you're gonna have a lead right the way through the camera when i do the overhead <laughs> so um hi jean hi Anne. hi kate hello, hello everybody um we're going to do block of the week today. Like I said, really sorry, I forgot the challenge post. My brain just went bleh because we were too busy trying to sort the retreat out and making sure that everything was ready for that. Um, so Sarah, I've just asked Sarah to do it this afternoon. She will do a quick live and just draw the challenge post. OK, um, hi, Lindy. So what we're going to do today, I'm just going to move some bits out of the way because I'm going to go through with it. What we're going to do today is um, a block which I'm calling uh, Squiffy Layers, um, which looks a little bit like this. Um, there's lots of different versions out there and the block actually makes two blocks. We're going to cut it and it's actually going to make two blocks, how we put it together and how you do this. I really, really like this. I've seen lots of different versions out there in lots of different sizes and stuff. Um, I've done this one quite big when I was working out sizes and things, but um, I'm actually going the one we're going to do is going to come out at 12 and a half inches, so it'll fit in perfectly with like the other isolation block stuff and all the you know uh, samplers that we've done. So, um, but I really like this. I think it's really clean and modern. Um, it's a little bit abstract as well so when you start putting together and I'll, I'll put like when we've done the other two I'll put the four together so you can kind of see how they go um, it's really good because there's no uh, seams to match so you haven't got to worry about nesting anything which is really nice and it's supposed to look a bit a little bit wonky a little bit squiffy like it's had one too many gins okay so um, I have written the pattern up it is on the website already as a digital download for a pound or a paper copy for two pound okay so um, it is all there ready for you if you want it if you want to do it but as always I'm going to get rid of this and we're going to go through what you need okay so I would say stick to the same background colors you've got like two background colors in this doesn't matter what you chose I just I'm using up scraps still on these blocks so I had a little bit of gray and a little bit of white that's what I've gone with I think that's quite nice for that modern clean look as well so um but you could choose any colors you could be you know cream and navy or, or you know black and blue or whatever anything at all so what you're going to need um this is also a really nice block to use bigger patterns now the ones that i've chosen to do this in because again scraps um aren't particularly big patterns they are quite small but if you are um, if you've got fabrics there they've got a really big busy design this this um block works really nicely for it who else is coming online hi wendy hi lynn hi patricia hi pat hi nikki hello everybody so what you're going to need you we're going to make two boxes and we're, blocks then we're going to combine them so for the first one you're going to need a six inch square and then for your first background fabric you're going to need why is my phone doing that i didn't even say the g word and it's oh, it's annoying me um and then one and a half by six twice and then one and a half and i've got it written down so i remember by nine twice okay no by eight sorry one and a half by six one and a half by eight and then from your second band band ground fab background fabric you need three inches by eight and three inches by 13 okay so that's like your first bit and then your second bit you want a seven inch square and then you want one and a half by seven and one and a half by nine twice and then this time it's two and a half by nine and two and a half by 13 okay so that's all your measurements like i said 
it's on the website for a pound as a digital download um you can always just go ahead and grab it there and you'll have all the instructions as well then um hi melba hi grace hi freddie oh, i hope you're feeling better freddie i know you've got the dreaded dreaded rona haven't you so um so yeah i hope you're feeling better first thing we're going to do is we're going to make this first block all right now it's going to be a bit repetitive you're going to need to talk to me <laughs> uh sorry sarah what are you sorry about darling Oh, because you'd put an H on my name. Oh, it's okay. I'll answer to anything. <laughs> or you wench most of the time. What we're going to do is we're going to start with the little one and a halves. And we're going to put them top and bottom like that. Right sides together and stitch with a quarter an inch. And then we're going to put these down the sides. Okay. So I'm just checking I've got the right ones. Yes, I have. <laughs> I'm going to then put those down the sides afterwards. So let's put my book away, out of the way. I'm going to whip over to the machine and hopefully you're over here now and just with quarter inch seam allowance right sides together let me just make sure all this is set up there we go i'm going to stitch down i had to very quickly when i came over i was like oh it's fine i've got a quarter of an hour i was like ah oh, i haven't done my cutting out <laughs> so i had to very very quickly do the cutting out for this <laughs> um so as soon as we're done here so machines going in the trolley i've got to pack all the demos and things and get all those sorted um they're all sorted they're all ready to go but i've got to get them all packed up get the car packed and then i'm going to make a move because uh, when i get up to the hotel i want to dye my hair because i've no time to do it and the gray is really showing through <laughs> so quarter inch down top and bottom to start with like that and then i'm not going to flip back over to the camera i'm just going to go straight over to here a second uh, and just iron those out and I'm ironing them out towards that white accent fabric okay so I've ironed them towards the accent okay um, hi Paula oh thank you for joining us hi Susie you're feeling better Freddie great fab fantastic I'm glad you are lovely so uh oh Paula tell us how did you find us are you uh just a Facebook person or are you um, Hachanda? Where did you find us? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to just put those one and a half by eights down each side. Pin them if you want to. You know I don't pin unless I absolutely have to. So I'm just going to, I'm not pinning them, but we're just going to go down the sides. Oh, there's my foot. Oh, what is going on? Why won't my foot go down? Oh, what is going on with my foot? Why won't it? Oh, there we go. Something, something caught on something. <laughs> there we go. So we're going to just go down those two sides like that. That side. And then I'm going to go down the other side. So it's a very, very simple block to do this, but I think it's really, really effective. I think if you're making for maybe teenagers or something, they're you know, quite difficult and quite fussy sometimes, aren't they, about quilting? But you could make this really modern and funky. Uh, there we go all the way down but it would also work actually if you're thinking about it with like baby fabrics as well you know, if you did want to do something that would grow with a child it would work with, with cute little baby fabrics too so there we go so we're going to come back over to the overhead now and all I'm going to do is just press those out okay and you want to square this up then okay I know we all hate squaring up but I'd like you to square it up please <laughs> here we go it does it does work better if you do just this little bit of squaring up here all right so all i've done is just put that little one and a half accent all the way around okay so who else is coming online anybody else there and i need my ruler okay like that and this should now measure nine inches now because this is small fabric you know small skinny bits it will stretch a little bit which is why you want to square it up so think about your corners here and here we're in the right place here and here okay that's where you want your diagonal line to go through to get it nice and square okay and then I want to get my nine by nine in like that to make sure I'm getting can you see hopefully you can see my 45 degree line is hitting both of those corners all right so I'm going to stand up for this because it's just easier across there across there like that and it's you can see it's just a diddy bit but it's definitely worth doing that bit of squaring okay and then nine by nine so i've got my nine running down here right the way across there like that okay and then just trim off anything that's moved or 
you know, stretched out a bit. So we've got something that looks like that. Really, really simple at the moment. Now we're going to use, um, these are the two and a halfs, aren't they? Yes. Yes, they are. Oh, I confused myself then. <laughs> it's like, great group all the time. Oh, thank you. That's really sweet of you to say, Pat. But yes, then you are a great bunch of girls. <laughs> you all, everyone's really helpful here and just chats away. So we're going to do exactly the same with the second background. Okay, so we're going to go top and bottom and then we'll put the two and a half by 13s along the sides once I've put those on, okay? So, must remember to place the blade on your rotary cutter before the quilt tree. I know, this one, I need to actually run back over the shop because this one is really dull and I need a nice fresh one for her chanda tomorrow. Okay, so just stitch over, stitch on those two. So back over to the machine, here we go. We'll, we'll take some blades with us, Jean, just in case, in case, in case anybody uh, forgets and they want a nice new blade. Um, but we will remember we will have a little pop-up shop as well which is always dangerous when you're all uh, <laughs> in the same place <laughs> for three days sewing away and you can just browse the shop at any point it's very dangerous <laughs> as I'm sure the girls who went to the November one will tell you okay so just doing exactly what I did before top and bottom making sure it's all lined up nicely and away we go again so and I've just been doing a little quiz. We've put together a little quiz for you. So we're going to do bingo again, quilt bingo. But we've just been doing a little quiz as well as an extra little uh, icebreaker to uh, win some prizes while you're away with us, for those of you on the retreat. There we go. Okay, like that. And I'm not going to flip cameras. I'm just going to very quickly iron this one out. Like that, so I can put the sides on. So, sorry, I know you're just staring at a blank sewing machine at the moment. And then we're going to put the sides on just like we did. So, like that. And it should then hopefully come out at 13 inches square. And then you're going to have to watch me do this all again, because I've got to do the other one exactly the same. But remember, it's a slightly different size. So, this was a 7 inch um, starting square. The other one's a 6 inch. But all of this, I just pulled out of my scrap buckets. It's it's ridiculous amount of scraps that I've got. It really is. So what are you all up to apart from obviously watching me at the moment? Are you uh, enjoying the sunshine? Have you been out in the garden? We've done some sewing. What's everyone up to? Anybody got anything? To, any news to tell me? I had a little man last night. He was really good. He slept through. Went down at half past six, and he slept through to half past five this morning. But then he decided that half past five was definite get up time. He was hungry, he needed his nappy done, and he wanted his breakfast. So uh, so I've been up since half past five, which is way too early for an insomniac to be up. <laughs> there we go, so we're gonna get over here. Uh, you've tried, you've managed to get a tiny nick in the new blade you put in on Sunday. Oh, that's so annoying, Susie, isn't it, when that happens? I hate it when that happens you put a brand new blade in and then you drop it or you go over a pin or you just catch something that you shouldn't have and it ruins it straight away and yet other times I can put a blade in and it'll be like it'll be months I know it shouldn't be months but it'll be months before I put you know I think oh I really need to change this there we go okay so all I've done is literally border up with two borders around the seven inch square okay I'm going to repeat that now with the six inch okay so we're going to do the six inch square and we're going to go top and bottom like that and then the sides and then with the three inch pieces i'm going to do exactly the same okay uh let me just pop over to here then so paul you've had lots of your pants from a chant and then find you on facebook oh lovely oh well thank you for joining us um you know if you're ever bored and you want to listen to me waffle and sir jane waffle on for no reason we've there's lots and lots of videos on here um, but join our giggle. There's a we've got a social group called the Gig Giggler. Sorry, the Giggle of Geckos, and the ladies on there are just they're just the best. They really are. They've um, they all you know put lots of pictures of what they're making and ask each other for help and stuff. And um, it's a really really lovely little social group. And we run like challenges with free prizes and stuff and all on there as well. So you know it's a uh, it's a nice little group to join. Uh, Patricia, what are you doing? You've had a go 
uh, have to go oh family's unexpected arrived oh bless you well have lovely lovely family time and um catch up later <laughs> um, what's that uh carol just in your live is there no quilt along tonight sorry if you missed something no carol lovely it's um we're not i can't do the quilt along live tonight because i'm traveling up for a chanda because it's such an early start i need to go up the night before so um we did put a schedule thing out to say that i'm going to do the quilt along next week now at seven o'clock on the wednesday um just because there was no way i could i could physically get all this film and equipment in and if i'd have waited until like eight o'clock when we finished to get up there there would be no point so um so yeah it's um it's next week lovely i've had to move it originally the um chanted times were um afternoon ones so i would have done tonight and then just gone up in the morning but then they moved it to a seven o'clock in the morning one so i've had to go up tonight there we go all the way down like that oh excuse me itchy itchy nose and then again i'm going to come back over to here because i'm going to iron this out and we're going to square this one up and this one is going to be squared to eight inches where the first one was nine okay so i'm just setting my seams and then ironing out been a bit vigorous today i probably should be a bit gentler shouldn't i they won't stretch as much then and then i just want to square this one up Ah, oh, thank you Jean. yeah absolutely subscribe to youtube <laughs> if you use youtube and then we're gonna square this one up to eight inches and again i'm looking for those corner points on my 45 just to make sure that it all fits in oh that one hasn't stretched hardly at all it's not going to be much in that one to come off which is nice there we go like that teeny tiny little bits and then eight by eight on this one so there so just oh let's get that back in line because i moved a bit which is a bit off the top okay sorry i know this is really repetitive but we're going to go exactly the same top and bottom these were the three inch pieces and then the sides and then we'll sh i'll show you the magic then the magic starts to happen then so got to put up with the boring bit first <laughs> so here we go over here um there we go uh oh that's okay carol yes yeah, sorry lovely it was um yeah they changed the times and it just meant that i wasn't available this evening because i'll be driving so and it's a good sort of three and a half hour run up there You have to watch this tonight as well. That's okay. Uh, it's a perfect excuse to have a, have a nice gene tea and watch it later. Hi, Karen. How are you, lovely? Hope you're well. Oh, it's warm and sunny in uh, in uh, South Africa at the moment, is it? Nice. It's not too bad here, actually. The weather here today is it's not warm. Well, it really is warm. It does feel a bit more like summer's on its way. It really does. So we go down those two sides. And like I said, this, you know, it's um, it's a really quick block, this one. Um, there's lots of different versions of it out there, different sizes and different ways of doing it. This is just my version of it. So, there we go, like that. And then we're going to go down these two sides. And then I can show you what we're going to do. I'm going to mess around with it. And it comes together really, really quickly. I like the idea with this one that it would work really well with a layer cake because you could cut these focal fabrics out of a layer cake which I know seems a bit wasteful but the pieces that are left would make perfect binding because you've got enough there to make your binding pieces so you could have all these lovely sort of like focal fabrics and then some planes and then a really cute scrappy binding they'd also big enough to do um, half um, like from the six inch ones they'd be big enough to do half rectangle triangles from as well you know or flying geese pieces so you know it's not even though it might sound a little bit wasteful it's not there's lots and lots of things you can do so you see washing this out on your line you love to see that oh yeah i put some out of the weekend i did stripped all the beds and stripped the sofa and stuff and did it all over the weekend it was lovely it just smells nicer doesn't it when it's on the thing on the line Okey doke. Um, 
I, you like this pat pattern this is nice and easy it really is Jean isn't it it's a really really easy one to do um, it's quite even though it lo I think it looks very very modern it's quite a traditional block it's been going around for ages like I said this is just my version of it this is how I've chosen to do it with the sizing and stuff I wanted to make sure that it was a 12 and a half inch so that it fits in with all our other blocks okay there we go right so we now have two blocks okay they look like that and you can see that this one looks a lot bigger than that one which it is first thing we're going to do is we're going to chop them up so i'm going to start with this one so this is measuring th they should both measure 13 inches so half of 13 is six and a half so what i want to do ooh, is grab my oh i haven't got the right ruler with me it's okay i'm going to use my really big one which means i've got to stand up a second so i want six and a half inches okay down this side like that to get it through the center here so i'm just going to straighten that up a little bit actually because that's moved a weeny bit i'm using a ruler line down here as well to make and line up there to make sure that's nice and square and we're going to go up like that and then rather than move the fabric i'm going to move myself okay so leave the fabric where it is move myself and the ruler the less you move your fabric, and I know we've talked about this before, the less you move the fabric, the more accurate and all your cutting will be. Okay, so there we go. I've measured, I've cut those now to be, they're now six and a half inch squares. I'm going to do exactly this. I'm going to put those together in a little pile. We're going to do exactly the same with this one. Okay. Straight down the middle both ways. What's that, Karen? I bought the Jelly Roll Sophie from Moda. I'm going to use grey as an accent. Oh, yeah. Yes, that sounds lovely. I know the Sophie one actually, it's gorgeous range that. And uh, yeah, that'll be lovely with the grey. So again, just measuring up my six and a half down this line, making sure that that's moved a weeny bit. Let's just move that like that. There we go. So I'm straight top and bottom there. And again, moving myself rather than the ruler, uh, rather than the fabric, and get my six and a half there like nope where is, where's my six and a half there it is <laughs> nearly to seven then oops there we go and straight the way across like that thinking about it actually let me just pop that down there you could try doing it that way as well you could try diagonals and putting it back together that might be interesting so what you're going to do now is you're going to mix them actually so you're going to use two of these and two of these together and two of these and two of these now because i've used this directional fabric here i want to make a point of leaving them like that so i'm not just going to do those two because we're going to turn them i'm going to move, take those two away like that and we're going to put these two in there and there okay and because of those were different sizes when we started you can see you've got these lovely offset borders which give this really sort of like quirky look we're going to then put them together so right sides together now what i would do is make sure that i line up this bit if it's a little can you, i don't know if you can see this actually let me try and get this on a white bit so you can see it because gray on gray is not easy to see you can see this one's stretched a weeny bit it's a weeny bit bigger so if line up this cent the center points okay uh, what do people do with the blocks of the week? I love trying them, but they don't know what to do with them. Um, so we did the, a lot of people did the isolation quilts. So they put all the different blocks together and made like a sampler quilt. Um, you could donate the blocks if you wanted to, to um, somewhere like Project Linus. Um, I'm going to, what I've done is just put these right sides together and we're going to stitch down quarter of an inch on both bits. I'll carry on talking. Um, you can get yeah, cushion covers, um, you know, bed runners, table runners, you know, anything anything at all i like to keep the blocks the same size so you can they would all go together you can just do lots and lots of different blocks and they'd all be 12 and a half inches and they'll just go together if you don't want to have to quilt them on your machine as a big one they go together really nicely as quilt should go lots of the ladies did quilt should go when we did the the first quilt um but yeah um they make really interesting if you make tote bags and stuff they'll make really interesting pockets for the front of a tote bag you know like a plain tote bag with a nice you know um, you could quilt you know, sort of bag it out and then use it as a pocket on the front of a bag but 
I've actually got so many random blocks because of doing block of the week and I've got obviously random ones. Um, I'm going to start donating them to Project Linus. So, and then they, they'll put them together for quilts. What we're going to do now is we're going to iron one one way, one the other, and then I can put them together. So, let me pop this one, just very quickly iron this one towards the yellow fabric each time and then they'll nest nicely. So I've ironed one to the left, one to the right, and then when we come back, actually let me just come over here a second, it's so much easier to show me. There we go, like that and like that. Okay, so I've ironed one that way, one that way, and then flip them together, nest up that centre seam. That's the bit that you'll see any wonkiness. It doesn't matter that none of this nests because it's not supposed to, but that little bit in the centre is supposed to. So that's the one you really want to you know, try and get, get right. Pop a pin in it, diagonal to control that back piece, and then we're just going to stitch down there. Okay, so I'm going to go back over to the machine. Hi Eileen, how are you lovely? Oh, don't worry about being late, you know you can watch back when you want to. There we go. So I'm just going to go down here, like that. When I get to this centre point, I'm just making sure that that's still tucked the right way. Hold it down. Okay, and then realign that bit there. Make sure that's nice and neat. There we go. Like that. Oh, yes. Yes, we talked about... Oh, see, I'm rubbish, Jean, aren't I? Absolutely rubbish, darling. We talked about doing that. How about we do it for the autumn? How about we do it for the autumn show? Why don't you all send me... Let me, let me have a think. Let me have a think. But yes, you could all make the same block. Or should we choose... Hang on, let me come over here. Or should we choose any block that we've done, any 12 and a half inch block, but all in the same colour? That might be look nice, like a really, really big sample quilt. How about, um, what I'll do is I'll put a little poll up on Facebook about choosing a colour. Let's all just say any 12 and a half inch block, okay, um, in a certain colour. And I'll, we'll, we'll have a poll of what the colour should be. And then we'll put them all together and we'll, we'll put it into the Autumn Malvin show. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. And then raffle it for a good charity course. Absolutely. And then when it's been, once it's been in the show, should we do that? Because I meant to organise something and I completely forgot, didn't I? Um, ready for the May Malvern. But let's do it for, let's do it for um, the Autumn Malvern to give everybody time and give us time to quilt it. So, yes, any 12 and a half inch block that we've done on a one o'clock, Okay, so if you've got the isolation sampler book or any one from any Wednesday, do that. You do pick one that we've done and I'll put a little poll up on Facebook where you can decide and then we'll we'll go with the most votes for colour range. So it could we'll go you know, we'll do like blue, red, purples, pinks, whatever. Um, and say white always is the background fabric, and then you guys can do your own block in your own fabrics, send them to us and then we'll put it together. Yeah, should we do that? Sounds like a cunning plan. Absolutely. Oh, hello, Baldrick. <laughs> right, I'm just going to go back to here. I'm just going to show you the little trick again that we always do. So take out those stitches. Do you remember we said about taking on that centre seam? Take out those two little stitches there, like that. So just unpick them. I tend to use a pin to do it on the other side because, oh, actually, that went wonky, didn't it? Oh, that's going to, oh, that's not going to go now because that's gone wonky. No, oh, it might do. It might do. It's because I was talking. Rainbow. <laughs> well, yes, we could then rainbow eyes them, couldn't we, sir? And then hopefully, yeah, there we go, it'll do that. You see, so that seam will go that way. This seam will go this way. You get that nice, you get a little four patch right in the centre. And these then lie nice and flat. So. Or should we all, oh, what do you reckon? Or should we all do this block? Or do this block. Oh, I don't know now. What do you think? What do you think? Should we all do the same block in different colours? Comment now, guys. Do you want to do the same block in different colours or do you want different blocks in the same colour? Let me know. What do you think? I'll put a poll up and you can decide, okay? There we go. 
it won't be till later on this evening once I get into the hotel I'll put it up okay but anyway that is your block all done okay you've obviously got the other quarters which would make the opposite one like that can you see like that and like that so that makes your opposite one so you've actually made two blocks out of that that one little bit okay so we're going to put all this together like that and then where's the other ones that I had They're over here so you can see that these now would go together so this is much bigger all right because I when I was working out the sizes I decided this came out like 15 inches I think it was 14 and a half and it was too big so I wanted to reduce it down to so it goes with our 12 and a half all right but you can see that if you kind of you could have them all facing the same way with like the higher one there or turn them you know so that they're really really wonky all over the quilt they'd make a really funky table runner and all wouldn't they if you had them all like down the center of a table with all different colors and stuff i just really like it i think it's a really nice modern block it's a little bit different um I mean that those could be cushions if I just put a little bit of this as another you know maybe a, an aqua or something as a border around get it up to 16 and a half back it quilt into it they'd be cushion covers wouldn't they nice nice modern cushion covers so um do what you like with them really there we go uh, right so let's have a little read let's come over here let's have a little read what you're saying different blocks in the same color this block in different colors and make a rainbow quilt different blocks there different blocks same color but I'm easy although my same block would look bad against everyone else's oh, I wouldn't lovely you'd be fine same block different colors right okay so first thing I'll do is I'll put a poll up and we'll decide whether it's going to be same block different colors or different block same colors okay and once we've decided whoever whatever majority you know you just vote on the poll um and then you decide that and then once you've decided that then we'll decide you know if you decide to go with different colors at uh, the same color sorry different blocks same color we'll then decide on what color we're going to go with okay and whether it's shades of blue shades of red shades of pink whatever um so let's do that first i will put a poll up in a few moments in fact i'll do that now before i start packing up um but that was it scruffy layers nice quick easy really i think really modern um really nice if you're making for like a teenager or something you know because it's not like it's just a bit more modern and funky i like it i like it <laughs> right um i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna love you and leave you so that i can get packed up i'll put that poll up now and then we i will see you up if you watch crate and craft um i've got shows 7 a.m and 12 p.m on the crate and craft channel but they've also got another channel running called the craft extra which i cannot for the life of me remember what channels they are and I'm doing one on there at 10 o'clock as well. But if you Google Craft Extra TV channel, um, I think it's on Sky and Freeview or Freesat, one or the other. Um, you'll be able to watch that as well. I think you can watch them on the internet too. Um, but, I've got, but the 10 o'clock show is going to be the same as the 12 p.m. show. The only thing I will say is if I sell out of stuff on the 10, 10 a.m. show, I haven't necessarily got lots of stuff to go on to the 12 so if you can find the 10 a.m show and you were going to buy find the 10 a.m 10 a.m show <laughs> just in case um and we will see you next week we there won't be a live on tuesday because we'll still be at the quilt retreat um but we will try and do a little live one of my little stupid walk around things on tuesday from the retreat so you can see where we are and what we're doing um so there are a couple of spaces left on the november one if anybody wants to join us I think there's about four spaces left um, for the November one. But you, you could have a little look and see what we're doing and see where we are. Um, then Wednesday will be 7pm for the quilt along. And then Sarah will be doing something on the Tuesday. I don't know what, but something on the Tuesday. Have you done the challenge draw? No, Lynn, I completely forgot. I've asked Sarah to do it this afternoon. She's over in the shop. I'm going to pack up now because I'm a drive. She's going to do it over in the, she's going to put jump on live in a bit and do it over there this afternoon, if that's okay. My brain went a bit bleh because I had a lot to organise. <laughs> I forgot. I'm sorry. Um, so, yes. Um, anything else there? Ah, thanks, Lindy. I see you Friday if you're about for packing, maybe, please. <laughs> um, see you Sunday, Eileen. Indeed, Eileen's coming to the retreat. Um, thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Sophie. Yes, thanks, sir. It's an easy, it's not an, it is an easy run now. 
it's relatively easy I'm used to it <laughs> but thank you darlings um i'll see you Jean, uh, on sunday as well Jean. too uh take care and hopefully tune in tomorrow for a tender bye <laughs>